Hey, hello, all you wonderful Corvette people out there. I really hope you're having a fantastic day. I am Burke. You're watching Road Odyssey. Please subscribe down below. I would appreciate that very much. Now, this is my second to last video related to C8 Corvette front inlet grill guards. The last one will be a, a collaboration with Yellow Jacket Garage, Brian. Uh, installing the scrape armor grill guards. So just haven't been able to get to it yet. And so because I can't get that installed yet, I made temporary grill guards because I have gone out on some cruises with other Corvette people and I really wanted to minimize the damage to these front condensers and radiators. Now, I have the Z51 package, which means I've got the extra cooler on one of the side scoops. But what I have done is something that will work regardless of the setup of your C8 Corvette. And it's minimal, but it's great protection, and it looks pretty decent. So let me take you down under the car covers of my C8 Corvette back here and just show you what I have going. Here we go. Now I've come down to the front passenger corner of the C8 so that I can begin showing you this inlet and my do-it-yourself grill guard. And I've got the other camera out. I'm going to start showing you more precisely what it looks like as a finished product and all the materials you need and then all the steps that is required of you to get this installed without really harming anything. So, all right. Time for showing you a little bit more. Here we go. All right, here we are at this front passenger corner. Here is the inlet. And there is my handy dandy grill guard. This is the list of materials that you need. Top of the list is the screen. I got gutter guard screening from Home Depot. You'll need zip ties that are probably six to eight inches so that they're a little bit meaty, but still not easy to see. Electrical tape, paper and or cardboard, pen or pencil, scissors, regular scissors, metal cutters, and needle nose pliers. All right, here are all the materials that you need to create your do-it-yourself C8 grill guards. So paper, maybe cardboard if you really want, pen, scissors, needle nose pliers, but not huge. They can be kind of small. Metal shears, zip ties that are maybe eight inches long because you want them to have some form of thickness to them. Uh, electrical tape, and then of course your screen. Steps required. Make your pattern. Go slow and be careful doing so. Be sure to leave space for your fingers or the pliers to grab the zip ties along either of the sides. Apply the pattern to the screen and cut it out. Don't try to cut it out perfect the first time. Allow room to trim and fit well, so you'll do multiple fitments. After getting the final piece of the screen, run electrical tape around the edge and run it at least two to three times. Carefully refit the guard to the inlet face. Keep your fingers as far from the actual grills as possible. The guard material may seem a little angled compared to the inlet fins, but that's okay. Don't let that bother you because you want to use all of the grill screen material that you're applying. Gently zip tie the top of the guard first. Keeping the zip ties a little bit loosens allows you a little wiggle room to later perfect the positioning. Gently zip tie the sides using the small spaces you provided and grabbing the zip tie ends probably with the needle nose pliers. Now be extremely careful with the outside edge facing the side of the car's body. This is where the grill is closest to the condenser and radiator grill. Begin slowly tightening up the zip ties to perfect 
the final resting place of the guard. Okay, so the steps that you're taking, you're making your pattern. The pattern needs to utilize as much of this screen as possible. So the only thing I did on this screen was I cut along this top. But you can see I put my pattern onto the screen and I used painter's tape for my edge on this uh, left and right side. So painter's tape all along around here. So that way I used as much of this screen as humanly possible. So once you got your pattern, you got the pattern to the screen, you're going to cut the screen pattern out with the shears. You know, do multiple fitments so that it's as perfect as it can be. Now, once this is done, all you have to do now, what I did was I took electrical tape and I took the electrical tape and I went all around the perimeter, top, sides, and bottom of my cutout piece of screen. That way it gives me a little bit of protection on the front facade of the C8. When you take the electrical tape and go around, you need to do that at least three times. So the more, the merrier, but you don't want it all clumped up in, in fat. You want it well done. So be very smart about putting the electrical tape around the perimeter of your final pattern. Now, one other thing, when I make some new ones, which I hope I do somewhere in the near future with all my millions of projects at this house, I would like to get the insulated foam like for doors. And so, you know, coming up here, we have this very old door. And so you can get insulated foam that goes around the cracks. And so I would like to have some really cool insulated foam to go at least around both of the sides and the bottom. So you might consider looking for something like that as well. And then from there, what do you do? You zip tie it. So be very careful when you do this. So when you cut your pattern out, take this screen back to the C8 and verify that you've got room at this corner and this corner in order to get a zip tie on those two edges. And remember, this edge is very critical to have enough room to get your finger in there, but preferably needle nose pliers because that condenser is extremely close to the front facade where this grill is getting applied. So be very careful of that. Now I'm just showing you in more detail the perimeter of the new grill guard and the electrical tape that I put around it to give you an idea of, you know, what is this going to look like? So when you're installing this, don't be concerned with any of the angles or anything like that. You want as much coverage as possible. So I used all the screen that I could use. Furthermore, I like having these gaps a little bit here. And when I came around the corner, I cut this corner at a larger angle so that I can actually get my finger or better yet, the needle nose pliers right here so that I could pull this zip tie tight. All right, so I've got six zip ties here. One, two, and then four across the top. And I just found the most convenient and best places I could to put the zip ties. Now, the condenser coil in the back, it is perpendicular to the frame of the car while this body molding is at an angle. That means back in this corner, your grill guard is going to be much closer to that condenser back there. So when you zip tie in this corner, you need to be very careful not to hit that condenser. That means I don't use my finger. I use the needle nose pliers to surgically grab that zip tie 
and then tie it up in that corner. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you like C8 Corvette content. And remember, I've got GR86 content as well, plus parts, museums, and other variety of items and events. So I just try to make the most of it, all things related to the road and having fun. So I hope you like the idea of these temporary work around do-it-yourself C8 Corvette front inlet grill guards. They are low profile enough that they're not easily recognizable. And for me, they've worked out very well. I've had nobody say anything about them yet. And my car has been in a couple of car shows and other events. Nobody said a thing. So to me, they're working out very well so far. So with that, relax. Take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye.